much I thought could hang with me can't even let these words be my I don't rhyme my for our way Jordan, more than a rapper, this is a natural disaster, boy, I'm meaning in Katrina, mixed with Gina, shut up, call real dad, real sad, baby girl, I wish you still had it, then maybe you could get a taste of living, talking, cold planet. Welcome to 2K Sports, good to have you along, everybody, I'm Ernie Johnson, tonight we'll see the Boston Celtics playing against the Los Angeles Lakers, and now we'll send you out to Kevin Harlan and the crew in Los Angeles. It's the NBA on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you all the action. We've got Boston facing Los Angeles. Now a chance to check out tonight's starting lineups. And one of the fan favorites in this one, Will Chamberlain, a true talent. And one other thing about him that you shouldn't fail to appreciate is the presence and impact he has defensively. He can lock you up and wear you down. And that effect really carries over to the rest of the guys. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Ainge with the ball. Pass to McHale. Goes up the baseline. And that's good off the glass that time. McHale's got the game going here with the first basket for the Celtics. And here's the Lakers. West outside. Feeds to Goodrich. Chamberlain against Parrish. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. Austin with the ball. And here is Ainge. McHale kicks to Bird. Johnson outside. Pass to Parrish. Three on the clock. Back to Johnson. Tries it from the top of the key. Good as the jump shot falls. First quarter just over a minute played. Chamberlain with a screen on Johnson. Goodrich dishes to West. Back to Goodrich. Lakers working the ball around now. McMillan. And that one goes long. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Here's Bird. Again, Kevin McHale. Guys, he's actually indefatigable. He never gives in, never gives up on a play, and that's what it takes to be a great offensive rebounder. You've got to be relentless. Now here's West. About two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Goodrich against Dane. Bird is screen on Goodrich. McHale left side. He passes to Bird. Shot clock at five. From deep. That doesn't go either for Bird. Austin on D. West kicks to Goodrich. From 13, a putback. Great positioning on the putback. And that'll tie this game up. That's purely a hustle play there. Getting to the offensive glass for the tip in, well done. And that's, you know, a quality you see any strong offensive rebounder possess. Uh, and we saw it right there. And, and guys, you know effort is also a talent. You've got to be willing to work if you want to make plays like that. That one goes. Count it. Here's West. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Hey, Kevin. 
I spoke with the Lakers head coach. According to him, their focus defensively is going to be on making things difficult inside. Ideally, they'll be in the best shape, he feels, if they force most of the shots against them to come from the perimeter. Guys? Thanks, Doris. Here's Ainge after Los Angeles picked up three with their last shot. And Bird, here we go. Bird can't get that one to fall. The Lakers in the lead. Now the pass to McMillan. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Celtics check in for Kevin McHale. Now, here is Ainge. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. He dishes it to Bird. He kicks to Parrish. That's tipped and stolen by Chamberlain. Passes it to McMillan. And a great job of taking advantage of the steal there to get those easy ones in transition. You know, that's exactly how you draw it up, Greg, on the board. I mean, good defensive work, aggressive play in the open court. Those two things are hand in glove when they work together. Goodrich against Ainge. Here is Parrish, and it's blocked by Chamberlain. Now here's Goodrich. He's tightly guarded. West. Pass to McMillan. Six on the shot clock. Back to West. Let's it go. No good off the back of the rim. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. 51 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Kicks to Bird. Shot to end this cold run. Offensive rebound. Parrish the pass to Walton. Hits the jump hook. You know, they've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. And it's like a running game in football. When you can pound the basketball inside, it also allows you to control the team's transition. So here is West following the bucket by the Celtics. This is to Goodrich. That falls. Nice feed that time from Jerry West. Goodrich has got six. Celtics trail by four. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. Seasting passes to Walton. And he gets it to go. You know, with that much of a height advantage, that's exactly what you should do. Take it straight to the rim. Here's West. Can't get it to go. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. The Lakers on top, up two. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? I just like the way they're getting out in the open floor, taking advantage of all those fast break chances here early on. I agree with you, Greg. I mean, they can run, and they've done a good job filling the lanes in transition. On the floor for Boston. Wedman is out there with Bird. Then there's Seasting, then it's Parrish, and it's Vincent in at the point. The shot by Chamberlain, no good. Boston trailing. Parrish with the screen on Erickson. Pass to Vincent. Here is Seasting. This ball movement by Boston. Down to five on the shot clock. Vincent the pass to Parrish. From deep three-point range, a shot's good by Wedman. And, and no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. And here is Brown. He passes to Erickson. Here's McMillan. Lots of room. Good. 
McMillan's got six. And that's what you want to see. Good fundamental sound basketball with the bounce pass. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Wedman the pass to Paris. Chamberlain on him. Here's Wedman guarded by Chamberlain. And here's Wedman. Now Brown. Left side, Brown. Robert Parrish comes up with the rebound. Parrish has got four rebounds now tonight. And there's the pass to Vincent. Here is Seasting. Puts the lead pass in front of him. And it's Parrish missing. And that's the way you want to defend. Nice job there. Always important to have that good interior defense. Pass to Erickson. Here's McMillan. The feed now to Chamberlain. Brown outside. Unloads. Vincent with the rebound. And that's a shot he struggled with before, but you can't fault him for taking it with the defense backing off. On the wing, Bird. The 11-footer. Shot is no good. Some solid defense from Chamberlain. He feeds it to Brown. Had the space there, but it's offline. He doesn't really scare a defense at all. You've seen him miss quite a few just like those. Seasting passes to Bird. Nice shot from 10 feet out. And the Celtics lead by one. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Now here's Brown. Erickson passes to McMillan. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. The Celtics making a switch here. Walton's checked in. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Here's Vincent Johnson. Pass to Wedman. The dish now to McHale. Just five to shoot. Johnson attacking from 17 feet out. The Lakers with the rebound. Brown with it. McMillan kicks to Brown. Pass to McMillan. Back to Brown. Wide open look. And the jumper falls for him. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, but neither team really able to jump ahead. Yeah, it reminds me of that cameo song. Back and forth. Here's Vincent. He passes to Wedman. Feeds it to McHale. And that one's good. McHale's got six. Here it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great position inside. Yeah, just getting the ball into the post has to be option number one for them right now. Now here's Brown. McMillan passes to Brown. Here's McMillan. He's guarded by Johnson. Brown outside. Shot. No good. So the Celtics will take it the other way. 115 left to play in the first half. Johnson attacking. Johnson right side. And it's Boston with another. And his attitude, Steve, just his general poise and presence is something else you notice about him. He's really a calming influence over that team. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Yeah, it looks like he saw some things out there that, that need to be adjusted. He's going to take a break here and talk it over. Hey, you know, coaches sometimes need a break in the action to rethink and retool a bit. Anytime you, you're in that situation, it makes sense to use the timeout. Lakers trailed by three. 
West outside. He dishes it to Goodrich. Celtics leading by three. And here is Johnson. West on him. The jump hook. It's stolen by West. 32 seconds left in the first half. Here's Goodrich. And the layup's good off the glass. Goodrich has got eight. 27 seconds left now here in the second. Johnson outside. He kicks it to McHale. And again, it's Boston converting. Here's West. Kicks it to Goodrich. West. Four seconds left. Cannot hit. And so it's a close game as we wrap up the first half of basketball. Celtics lead by three. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. so far with no brown given through the first third quarter starting here now you gotta like what kevin McHale has done in this game yeah you know one of the things about the truly great of our game is that sometimes you get spoiled because of how consistent they can be and so far another big scoring night for him and oftentimes when he puts up that many points in the first half he follows it up with an even better second half we'll see if that's the case here all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. Taking a look at the Lakers. Goodrich is out there with West. And it's McMillan. Then it's Ellis. And it's Chamberlain in at the center. Nice shot by McMillan. And, and that's why it's so important to really be a good screening team. You get a lot of open looks from it. Johnson dishes to Parrish. The pass to Ainge. Now the feed to Bird. Tries from 10. That's short off the rim. And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. West kicks to Goodrich. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. The Celtics with the lead. Bird outside. That is good. You know, he's got a lot of inches on the defender in that matchup, and he can just shoot right over the top of him without worrying about being bothered. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. And it's Goodrich missing. Still a bit chilly from the field at the start of this third quarter. One of four so far. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. And you know what, Steve? His teammates love playing with him because he gets them so many assists thanks to his catch-and-shoot ability. A lot of his buckets come right off the pass. That free throw good from Ainge. Baylor, he's checked in for Los Angeles. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. 
Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. On the wing, Goodrich. Ainge covering. It's West with the drive. Goodrich, that's good. Goodrich has got 11 points. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. So the Celtics called timeout their first. McHale, he trains the quick shot. How about the inbound pass there? Easy bucket. Lakers trailed by four. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Chamberlain. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync. Tremendous communication and awareness. And that one's good. Ainge has got four points in the quarter. Some big points there. I mean, they got him on a nice play to get the ball right to the bucket. And exactly what they're looking for down the stretch, Clark. Just more of the same. Now here's West. Goodrich passes to Chamberlain. Larry Bird grabs the miss. Celtics leading by four. Here's Ainge. Dishes it to Johnson. Shot clock at six. Bird kicks to McCabe. Shot from 12. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Chamberlain got five rebounds tonight. Baylor is screen on Parrish. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Yeah, you've got to make sure your feet are set when you set those screens, or they're going to call that on you. Well, I thought maybe he was set. I know that's a difficult call to make, but I think they might have missed that one. Celtics making a switch here. Seasing's checked in. Here is Seasting. Johnson outside. Into McHale. That's in there. Johnson with the assist. McHale's got 12. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. Just no resistance on the interior. Los Angeles calls timeout. Clearly, he's not pleased with all the looks they've given up on the inside and also to get them to tighten up that defense. Yeah, and I think he's going to let them know about it. I mean, they're playing some soft interior defense, and you can't win that way. That's a recipe for disaster if you're not going to play with some physicality inside. Danny Ainge has checked in for the Celtics. One fifty-two left to play in the third. This is it to Goodrich. Here's McMillan. Bird cover. Lakers passing it around. Here's West. The, the mid-range jumper is a high percentage shot for him. And when he's got that much room, forget about it. Celtics leading by four. He feeds it to Bird. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. And it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here. Ellis is checked in for Baylor. And the Lakers with possession here. Pulls it up. That one rolling around and rims out. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Pass to Seasting. Sting. 
There's the dish to McHale. Six to shoot. And McHale gets double team. Seasting. And he gets it to go from the corner. And the Celtics lead by six. Goodrich with it. 11 points in the game. Pass to McMillan. Feeds it to Chamberlain. A jump hook. That's good. Chamberlain got four points this quarter. Celtics leading by four. A chance here to go two for one. Boy, they've got to ramp up the speed and make it happen in a hurry. There's 21 seconds left here in the third quarter. Parrish dishes to Bird. Pocket six. With the teardrop. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. Yeah, how about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. Yeah, we call that playing through the whistle. You know, he didn't give up on it when he heard the whistle. He kept his focus, his concentration, and he found a way to get the shot up and down. Free throw good, Parrish. Nine seconds left in the third. Goodrich kicks to Brown. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Here's Johnson. Can't hit. And we've reached the end of the third. Celtics out in front, up four. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. joining us again as we get set for the fourth quarter a terrific game so far and guys let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Celtics and when they've worked the ball into the post throughout this game they have had success you know they're taking care of business in the paint too those are valuable points they've been getting down low on the court right now for the Celtics Bird out there with Wedman then it's Walton then there's Ainge and it's Johnson in at the point guard position now here's Bird Four on the clock. Baseline try. Talk about hurting your team. I mean, he just can't get anything to go out there. Ellis with a screen on Ainge. From deep. Chamberlain slams it back in. That kind of put back turns a simple rebound into a highlight play. He has sold at the glass to right, then has sold at the rim. Yeah, straight bringing the hard hat on that one. That's what you like to see on the backboard. Now, here is Ainge. Johnson outside. He passes it to Wedman. That's good. And the Celtics lead by four. We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Brown against Johnson. Goodrich passes to Brown. Puts up a three. Kevin McHale, he checked in for Wedman. Boston leading by four. Johnson kicks to Bird. Johnson. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. He dishes it to Ainge. Bird, he's guarded by Ellis. Five on the clock. Bird kicks to Ainge. Great play by Bird to set it up. And here is Los Angeles now. Now West, he kicks it to Goodrich. The pass to Erickson. The feet to West. Kicks it to Goodrich. 
good on the triple. And I don't think we can talk about him without also mentioning his tendency to just erupt and string together a bunch of baskets in a row in a real short period of time. Now here's Johnson. Danny Ainge on the wing. Back to Johnson. Bird right side. Trying to break that ice cold streak. That one off the back iron and out. Lakers trail by three. On the wing, Goodrich to tie it up. Here's Chamberlain. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Well, Will Chamberlain in this one, eight rebounds and one rejection in this game, too. And <laughs> was it a good one? Really, one of their highlights of the game defensively. And he can't get the first one. And the Celtics making a change here. Parrish has checked in. And he sinks the second. Only down two now, but that miss might come back to haunt you. If they don't get a stop, it's back to a two-possession game. Ainge kicks to Bird. Ainge. Johnson outside. On the wing, Bird. Chamberlain on him. Bird dishes to McHale. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Johnson for three. The Lakers with the rebound. Erickson's got three rebounds so far in the game. Left side, West. And the Lakers with another miss. The Celtics with the lead. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Bird outside. Guarded by Erickson. The turnaround, Jay. Again, the miss by Bird. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Goodrich passes to Erickson. West outside. Well, I tell you what, the defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. Now a timeout called by Boston. Not to like what we've been seeing from Dale Goodrich. He's dialed in from long range. They got to stay in his hip pocket and deny him the catch. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Kevin, the head coach for the Celtics, had some instruction for his guys during that break. Despite the deficit, he told his guys, I've got confidence in you. We've had our backs against the wall before. You know what we need to do. Kevin, can they retake the lead? McMillan's checked in for Erickson. One fifty-six left here in the fourth quarter. McHale kicks to Parrish. And that one's good. And the Celtics lead by two. And I'll bet his percentage is pretty high from that range. Timeout called the Lakers. They trail by two. One fifty-one left in the game. McMillan against Bird. It's Goodrich on the wing to take the lead. Can't get it to go. Now Boston takes it the other way. And now here's Johnson, a fast break chance. They get it back. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. The first 
first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. Second one is good. Being both at the line, it's a four-point ballgame. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Now here's Goodrich. Chamberlain a screen. And here's West for three. West missing again. Good little two-man action there, but they just can't get the shot to fall. Yeah, but that was a beauty. Good-looking shot, well-executed play. I wouldn't be surprised to see them go back to it. Such a strong finisher on the fast break. And, Greg, I love the fact he's always in control, even though he's going at breakneck speed. He still maintains his body control. And the Lakers have possession after the basket by Boston. Dishes it to Goodrich. Shot clock at six. Nails it! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And you can just see his confidence is rising. Bucket after bucket from long range. Back to McHale. And McHale gets double team. West against Johnson. Thirty seconds left in the fourth quarter. No time to spare. They need a bucket. Without question. A dent, maybe a steal or a foul to get the clock stopped as well. So they foul intentionally. the first one and that increases their lead to six so he goes two for two at the line and it's a seven point game free throws go down and the lead goes up Los Angeles calls timeout they're trailing by seven 23 seconds left in the fourth is what's your take you, you know what you can talk all you want but I just don't a scenario that's going to get them back in. Yeah, who knows what he's drawing up in there, maybe working on a play for down the road in another game, but whatever it is, it's too late for this one. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Edmund check in for McKayla. Edmund comes in for Larry Burke, and it's easting in for Danny Ainge. Brown dishes to Baylor. There's McMillan. Good! And now they trail by just four. Came out smoking here from beyond. And Greg, as hot as they are from out there, absolutely no reason at all not to just keep letting them fly. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let them dribble the game. Exactly. I mean, got to stop the clock any way possible and hope they alligator arm a few of those free throws. It's the first, and that puts them up by five. The Celtics making a switch here. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Balanced scoring, Clark, for them. They're moving it well. Yeah, you love to see teams share the sugar. Everybody getting a touch. Everybody enjoying an opportunity to score. That makes it a lot of fun for everybody on the board. You know, it sounds better when you say it than watch it. Okay? <laughs> I like better when you say it. Sharing the sugar. <laughs> you might want to cut down on that sugar intake, though, Clark. But anyway, everybody's been involved in this offense here early on, and it has a way of helping you defensively. <laughs> So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he has 
is unable to get the second one. Now here's Brown. Here's Baylor. Buries it from outside. And so it's Boston sweeping by with the win. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother me. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. Now let's take a look at the Jordan player of the game. I get it, three, six, five, 12 months, 24, seven, gotta get it, I need it.